right so today the topic that we are going to discuss are some of the things that are the kings of the market so who are the kings the volume the price action and the order flow these are the mere three things or three factors that actually move a stock okay so today's topic is closely related to these major factors and it is something that is called as tape reading some call it as time and sales window as well okay so uh, let me show you how it looks like first it looks something like this okay so this is nothing but the times and sales window or the tape reading I will explain what does it mean and what is the significance of all the data that we have here okay in this video all right so to get back uh, the hard fact is uh, we will not get this information on most of the brokers platform okay but we do get it on the third party applications like ami broker or ninja trader and other uh, stuffs that are similar to it okay so we all know that uh, we have many indicators and oscillators that can do the job for us so basically everything works but why people fail to make money is because they don't know where and how to use these things okay at the same time many of us do use tape uh, data okay the tape reading but we don't know how to read and interpret the tape readings okay so that is exactly what I'm gonna brief in this video so in order to understand it let me divide the topics into few sections okay so the first section is what is tape reading and what uh, or you can say what is times and sales window how do we read it and the second part would be how to use the times and sales window okay what are the components of the times and sales window okay so it basically shows uh, the detailed information about the trade like the time of the trade the price of the script the size of the order that was placed stuff like that okay so basically uh, I cannot go deep into the topic because it will extend the time of the video but whatever information I'm giving here that should be sufficient for you to understand and implement it in the live market okay so the next part how to use the time and sales window how to use it as mentioned uh, earlier the first thing is the order size okay so there are two things uh, inside the topic how to use the time and sales window the first is the order size and the second is the order speed okay so coming on to the first thing that is the order size so you see the order size here and uh, see some numbers like uh, uh, let me let me get back to the window here okay so this is the window and you uh, the last uh, column that you see here with the numbers one seven two one two six four four uh, etc etc so this is nothing nothing but the order size that is how many shares are being traded at that particular time okay so this shows how many shares are being traded now let's merge this information with the technicals that you might be using okay let's take for, ex for example you use pivot points in order to decide your entries and exits okay so the indicator that you're using is pivot point okay so let's say a script is moving and we are waiting for the point where uh, the pivot line will be breached in the upward direction and we can take a long position okay and eventually the script breaches the pivot line and closes above it now at this point if you see the time and sales window and if you see that some big order size is coming up like the number will be around 200 or maybe 300 or even maybe 400 okay in this column in the last column okay so if you see that the order size is around 200 300 or 400 then you know that something big, big is going to happen and the people have interest in buying this share okay so in that point of time if you decide to go long that would hold more chances of a winning trade okay now the thing to note here is the number that I have uh, mentioned the 200 300 and the 400 okay there is no hard and fast rule that the numbers has to be more than 200 or 300 or 400 okay the number can actually differ and is uh, and it actually depends uh, if you are a guy who follows tape reading on a regular basis your eyes will be trained to read the data and you can make out very easily when the numbers are going big so it all depends on how you use it how frequently you use it and how regularly you use it okay similarly coming on to the second part second component of how to use times and sales window that is the order speed 
when you see that the technicals are being met okay for you to go long uh, in this case the technical I'm talking about is the pivot line okay so the stock has crossed the pivot line it has breached the pivot line and has closed above the pivot line so it is the time for you to go long okay so when you see that the technicals are being met for you to go long also in the order size uh, also if the order size is big okay you should also see the order speed normally the tape reading speeds up okay this is an indication that the buyers are interested in the stock at that particular level and it adds on to the chances of the stock to give a breakout in the upward direction or to move up with a decent speed okay so let me let me uh, do this let me uh, put two windows side by side that will be easier for you to understand actually so this is the times and sales window and uh, let me take the example of uh, one of the charts from Friday that is Bajaj Auto okay so we have these two things side by side okay so left hand side is the time and sales window right hand side is uh, the technicals that you're following okay the pivot lines you see here right R1 R2 R3 okay so at this let's say for example at this point of time the script has breached R3 and has closed above it so we get an idea that since it has breached a particular resistance level okay that is nothing but R3 it has all the chances to move up further now at this point in time you will think of going long right so at this point you need to have a look on the sales and uh, on the times and sales window and you should see some big numbers here as I said for example you see 200 300 like the first order will be 200 the second order might be 300 the third order might be 100 the fourth order might be 400 okay so there is no hard and fast rule for the numbers but the numbers will be big and if you're using the time and sales window on a regular basis you should be able to figure out uh, what is that big number all about okay so if you see those big numbers here that is one point and the second point is the order speed will increase okay uh, like the orders actually uh, actually will be coming in uh, really fast over here okay so this is the hint to you that the buyers are interested in this stock at this particular price and it has all the chances to move up okay so that is how you relate the time and sales window with your technicals and you uh, take the long position and trade